We further refine our sketch of the root locus by finding angles of departure and arrival uh, from complex poles and zero. Okay, from complex conjugate poles and complex conjugate zeros. The root locus starts at the open loop poles and ends at the open loop zeros. In order to sketch the root locus more accurately, we want to calculate the root locus departure angle okay, from the complex conjugate poles and the arrival angle to the complex conjugate zeros. So to determine the angle of departure is by using this equation theta d departure equal to 180 degree minus the summation of theta pole plus the summation of theta zero. This is the angle that departs from the complex conjugate poles. If there is no complex conjugate poles in your open loop transfer function, meaning that there is no angle of departure. The next one is angle of arrival using this equation theta A for arrival equal to 180 degree minus the summation of theta 0 plus the summation of theta poles. The angle that arrives to the complex conjugate zeros is by using this equation. If you do not have complex conjugate zeros in your open loop transfer function, meaning that there is no angle of arrival. Okay, for example, you are given a unity feedback system in figure 8.18. So you have this one in the open loop transfer function. So you need to find the angle of departure from the complex poles. Meaning that in this case, there's, there is only complex poles. There is no complex zeros. If there is no complex zeros, meaning that there is no angle of arrival. If there is only complex poles, meaning that there is only angle of departure. And sketch the root locus. So in this case, um, we have these complex poles at negative 1 plus minus j1 okay negative 1 plus j1 negative 1 plus j uh, minus j1 for the complex conjugate poles beside we have negative 3 and also we have negative 2 as the 0 <clears throat> so we decide uh, to maintain uh, to determine the angle of departure from one of the complex conjugate poles. In this case, I choose theta 1 as my angle of departure and the rest I label theta 2 for this poles, theta 3 for this 0 and theta 4 for this pole. And then I need to calculate the angle uh, for theta 2, theta 3 and also theta 4. Okay, so for theta 1, Okay, for theta 1, which is the angle that I set as the angle of departure from one of the complex conjugate poles, usually I choose the top one of the complex conjugate poles as the angle of departure. And then we determine this one by using this equation, which is this is actually the departure angle equal to 180 degree minus the summation of theta pole plus the summation of theta 0. Okay, in this case, 180 degree minus theta 2, which is equal to 90 degree. Theta 4, this is the calculation of theta 4. And theta 3, this is the calculation of theta 3. So, by using this equation, uh, theta 1, which is the angle of departure, is equal to 108.43 degree. There's no angle of arrival because there's no complex conjugate zeros. There will be angle of departure because there is complex conjugate poles and no angle of arrival because there is no complex conjugate zeros. So you can try this one, uh, practice this practice too. Uh, based on this transfer function, you need to sketch the root locus by find the imaginary axis crossing or J omega axis crossing 
find gain k at the j omega is causing this one using uh, the ruth Huyweth criterion find the breaking point for the um, from the first additional rule and angle of departure from the complex poles from the third additional rule so for conclusion uh, we already um, covered the basic rules for sketching the root locus there are five basic rules for sketching the root locus number one is number of branches number two symmetrical about real axis number three real axis segment number four starting and ending points and also number five behavior at infinity so <clears throat> we cover the um, these five basic rules um, and also for additional rules for refining the sketch we have real axis breakaway next one we have j omega is crossing and break in points Okay, sorry, for additional rules, we have real exist breakaway and break in points. Number two, we have J omega exist crossing, and number three, the angles of departure and arrival. So that's it for root locus technique. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.